Hi guys, Jeremy from the CustomGeek.com here, and I want to talk to you about these little Nokia displays, the 5110 displays uh, I buy from Adafruit. Uh, like these things, they're very easy to use. Um, there's a nice library written for them. They're very easy to see in sunlight, very low power, and they have four white LEDs for backlighting. So, the other day I was sitting at the table, looking at a project, and said, you know what? That, looks, look, that would look really good in red. So I took it apart, and I backlit a screen in red, and it looked really cool. So... I want to backlight a screen in green. I wanted to share how I do this. This is really, really simple. Understand, this is not made to come apart. So when you do this, I would assume that you avoid your warranty. So if you're not comfortable with LCD screens, um, you're, you're on your own risk at this. But if you just take these little tabs here, and you just bend them out just a little bit, or I should say in, I'm sorry, and so that they can kind of slide through here. We're going to turn it around. We're going to do the same thing to the two on the other side. Um, what you'll find is uh, the LCD has kind of a rubberized connector and um, it's just basically pressed up against the board and these four metal clips kind of keep it that way. They kind of keep pressure on the board. So we're going we're gonna to poke these guys out and what will happen is the screen will come off the board. So you can see that we have the board here. We have our four LEDs that we'll replace and this is the LCD screen right here. Now this connector right here, I'm going to see if I can get a, a better focus of this shot here. Um, this is a very, uh, these are used in a lot of LCD displays. I remember um, the death of some of these guys when I was little taking things apart when I was uh, in my single digits. So uh, what we're going to do is basically just put this aside and all we're going to do is we're just going to pop these, uh, these little LEDs off and then we're going to put different LEDs on and then their four resistors are uh, one, two, three, and four. So it's not going to be like an RGB backlighting. We're just going to change it from white to, um, let's say, green. So let's get the soldering set up and see what we can do. Okay, so we have our hotter station going at about 350 degrees at about 36 CFM. So we are going to, I'm going to switch my hands here. I have a camera kind of right where uh, I'd normally put my iron, and I'm going to use my right hand instead of my left hand with the tweezers. So what I'm going to do is kind of bathe this board in hot air so I don't concentrate all the heat uh, really hard in one spot. I don't, want to, I don't want to blister the board. And so after a little bit of hot air, uh, these LEDs will come loose. This is not the ideal angle I'd like to do this, but the camera, uh, the camera is there, so it'll, it'll be all right. Now these LEDs that I'm taking off are white LEDs, they're 805 LEDs. Um, I'm going to put 603 LEDs on, so they're going to be a little bit smaller, but uh, we can still make the pads work. So, uh, let's get the new ones and we'll go from there. Okay, so now we're going to seat the new LEDs in here, uh, the green ones here. So I'm going to heat this solder up a little bit. You can see it turn a little bit in almost color, but you'll see it kind of get, quote, melty. I don't know if that'll show up on the actual, how well that'll show up on, on the video, but um, it kind of changes color, it kind of changes appearance a little bit when the solder melts. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to get the other one. I'm going to switch hands and do this right handed again. Get the solder kind of melted here, and then we're just going to put this little LED back. And we're not worried about good solder joints. We want it just kind of in there, and then what we're going to do is we're going to touch it with an iron to get it um, uh, to get a positive contact on the LED itself. So, um, oops. So let's hold that over there for a second. All right. So now uh, let's do the thing we talked about in my soldering video which is put a little bit of down pressure on the LED and then uh, melt the solder just a little bit and what that'll, that'll do is cause it to sit down and this guy too okay so now those guys are there now we're going to uh, go ahead and grab an iron and touch them up that way uh, instead of using hot air Okay, so now we're going to touch these guys up with an iron. 
just going to do a little bit on this side. A little bit on this side. A little bit on this side, and then just a little bit on this side. All right. Okay, guys, so now we have all our four LEDs soldered on here. Uh, we're just going to plug it in really quick with no LCD uh, to make sure that they all light up. And they are nice and green. So we will put the LCD back on. It's very important that when you do this uh, not to touch with your fingers these pads right here. You want to keep those absolutely, um, absolutely clean. So uh, what we're going to do is we are going to now put the LCD screen back on here. And uh, it's also as important not to touch that rubber strip right there. So we're just going to put this on here as straight as can be. And uh, line it up in the same slots. And then kind of snap it on there. And then what we're going to do is just take a pair of pliers and kind of bend those tabs out just a little bit. Not putting too much pressure, but just a little bit. Uh, just enough to make them catch uh, well again. Take those and kind of bend them out that way so the, the metal frame stays pulled tight to the board and that way the, the, uh, the rubber strip has contacts which carries the data to the actual LCD itself. So, let's fire this thing up and see how she looks. Okay, we have the finished result here with green LED backlighting and then we have another, uh, what I call a submarine edition over here with red LED backlighting and then we have the original uh, screen with white LED backlighting. Again, great screens, easy to see in sunlight. Um, also, you can change the LEDs on them, obviously, and maybe represent the Italian flag. And if you can get them from Adafruit.com, they also come with a 4050 level shifter, so uh, be careful not to feed them 5 volts, just 3.3. So, happy hacking and happy color changing.